Hey guys, so I'm back with another wash and go video. So I'm starting off on day four hair from a previous style using the Gagne Fruities Curl Nourish line. I posted pictures to Instagram when I repaired my Wee Dad wash and go because I mixed two of the products together and they clearly did not like each other and caused a flaky reaction in my hair. So I was out of town and forced to find some products quickly and I went to the local Target but because there's not a large natural hair community there, my product choice was very limited. But thankfully I ended up discovering accidentally these great products from Garnier. So I'm going to just be co-washing my hair today because I recently styled it and did the whole wash and shampoo only three days prior to this video. So that's why I'm just running it through with a little conditioner in this video. Um, and I wanted to make sure that my hair was starting off moisturized and softened and prepped for this styling. So I'm literally just taking some of the curl nourish and finger detangling my hair and this product is great this conditioner really really rocks if you're looking for an affordable conditioner i highly recommend it as far as ingredients go for the persons that don't do silicones or certain other ingredients i'm not sure but i know that you can find a full ingredient list by just searching from google online to see what the curl nourish conditioner and buttercream has as far as ingredients goes but for me that's not really a huge concern of mine um, and i love how these products felt in my hair so after i rinsed out the conditioner which was the curl nourish butter conditioner i'm following that up by styling with the curl nourish buttercream so as you guys can see, I'm taking big sections because I want a fluffy wash and go. Um, disclaimer, if you are looking for tons of definition, this styler combo is not for you um, because it is very, very lightweight and creamy in consistency. So it does define the curls enough for my liking, but it does leave your hair with a lot of frizz and volume right on day one and it just gets better with time. But that's not everyone's cup of tea so i'm just taking big sections and smoothing it through kind of like i would apply a leave-in conditioner or actually conditioner itself and smoothing that all through my hair making sure the curls are completely coated with the buttercream product and that is pretty much it So in this video, I also followed by adding the Mio Organics Almond Mint Oil on wet hair. In hindsight, I would not do that again. The last time I styled with this buttercream, I only used the buttercream in my hair. And then once it was completely dry, I went ahead and added some oil for shine. Um, and I would go ahead and do those steps again. Adding the oil on my hair was wet. Um, left my hair feeling soft, but it also left it a little more weighed down and a little more limp on day one than I like. And personally, I loved how light and fluffy the buttercream um, styler left my hair for day one hair. So in the future, I would just apply the buttercream in its entirety to my hair, allow my hair to kind of absorb the product for a little bit and then follow with um, diffusing and I would not add my oils or any kind of sheen until my hair was 100% dry just to add it in for moisture and shine um, so it's optional what you want to do but that's just my preference that I can get big hair on day one so I have of course diffused and set under the dryer and I'm back and my hair in these clips is about I would say 75% dry the roots were still a little damp and you can kind of see what I'm saying by it being limp in comparison to how it looked um, in the beginning of the video even though I know that was day four hair um, the oil just kind of weighed it down a little bit more 
um, and I will insert some pictures at the end because for some reason this did not show up on camera as good as it looked in person it just kind of came off a little lackluster but this styler works really really well and in person my hair looked great so these are some pictures of my hair as it got old and then you can just see the texture, definition, and frizz that I had. So I loved how this came out and how this style works. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I will try to include more affordable wash and go options like this one. Um, as I said, this is not for people that don't like lightweight stylers, but it is a great styler if your hair is more fine in texture and if you don't mind a little frizz and volume on day one. So guys, I will see you all in the next video. And as always, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And for those who have subscribed, if you have not, please do. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.